What's up, everybody, and welcome back to a very special episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney with an actual Phoenix Wright. I'm, a, once again, your host, Zach, joined by your actual voice actor, Wes. I'm not Phoenix Wright. And our actual Phoenix Wright, Phoenix himself. How is it going? <laughs> <laughs> wow oh. classic classic Great. phoenix bright very slap, good phoenix. slap the evidence thank you all so much again for for you know supporting us this 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 cosplay is because of you all so thank you for that. honestly this series is as fun as it is because you guys make it so much fun to do heck yeah i i agree with that 100 percent <laughs> Cricky says Pridge is about to become an Edgeworth simp. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't already. Edgeworth. Edgeworth cool. Now, now chat, can we get can we chat? Can we get some Pridge and cosplay X Edgeworth Yowie art? No, we don't know. <laughs> Listen, Wes, after after the several comments you made last week, you are you are in horny jail officially. <laughs> oh man. Bunk, go to horny jail. Can I get can I get art of me in horny jail? I was gonna say, Creaky oh. just said drawing Wes in horny jail right now. Yeah, I will. I will <laughs> accept me in horny jail. <laughs> but let's get into the game. You gotta get you get you get you get your head in the game. That is a High School Musical reference, everybody. Of course, I need to put my glasses on for this part because I'm blind without them. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn, we're on the last day. We are. This, this is it. <laughs> Judgment day. <laughs> no, you couldn't have timed that better. Once he was programmed to destroy the future. Now his mission. Get down. Shit, now I'm going to have to do a thing of Phoenix Wright in the movie Judgment Day. God damn yeah. it. <laughs> Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Like, will Edgeworth date me? How do you think, how, how is he recovering from that tasing he got? You know, I don't know. Because I remember looking up afterwards, I was like, is 600,000 volts enough to kill you? And the jury's kind of out on it. It does take I mean, a surprising amount of electricity to kill a human. I will say that. The, the worrying thing is Maya's not, the being, I'd be more worried about Maya since she's not that big. No, she's I have tight. to imagine size yeah. has to do a lot with it. And Maya's a 17-year-old, fairly small girl. I'm curious. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. How many volts is a strike of lightning? I did look that up. I believe that is actually like a million. Ooh. So. And, and people survive that. Yeah. True, rarely, but, but yes. But people die from that, too. Yeah. Also true. People die when they are killed. <laughs> Almost alive is not alive. <laughs> <laughs> He's only nearly dead. <laughs> He's only mostly dead. Whoa! I'm surprised by Maya standing there. Maya, when the fuck did you get here? Uh, the chat is asking a uh, bar exam question. We do apologize, everybody. In, in getting ready for this stream, Phoenix was very busy. You know, I forgot to find yeah. one. <laughs> well, Prid Pridge, Pridge isn't here. We have Phoenix right, right. right today. Yeah. Pridge is, so, Pridge is normally the one who takes care of it. And because we have Phoenix with us here today as a special guest filling in for Pridge. Yeah, he had to get ready for the trial today. And right, he just right. Didn't, he didn't have time. Right. <laughs> I actually had to go get my first dose of the vaccine and then still run into the office afterwards. So I had to miss Yay. Wow. Good. I'm glad, Phoenix. Is Has, my, yeah. has Maya gotten vaccinated yet? She's actually an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> I don't know why that's where my joke went to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, What's Nick, way to be, way to be part of the sheeple. <laughs> What's the big idea? Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from my run-in with the stun gun yesterday. <laughs> oh, it was static electricity. That's not how that works. <laughs> Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. <sighs> yeah, thanks, Maya. Edgeworth is looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. 
Uh. Whoa! What are you doing? Sorry. I'm sorry. That is not how electricity, static electricity works. <laughs> Wait. This power. <laughs> I've become electro. <laughs> I just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge. Now, wording choice on that one. Right. Good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Hey, high five! <laughs> uh, whoa, you yeah, pal! <laughs> What's gotten into that girl? About 600,000 volts. Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> morning, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, good morning. How did it go, Howdy. Detective? Have no fear. As promised, I've captured our runaway caretaker. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Actually, after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. That's a lie! Why would <laughs> he want... A, no, you're wrong! <laughs> Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't rem remember his past? He does remember, and I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to remember it, him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> remember, you have to believe. Remember, I'm your son. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, oh, my head. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready. Wow. Uh, right? Very well. So the first thing I'd like to bring up is the prosecution shot me with a stun gun yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why we were all just okay with that. Um, I feel <laughs> like that should be brought this? up. Can anyone hear this fly? There's just this odd buzzing <laughs> sound that I just can't get rid of. <laughs> we have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on. Don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. Very well. Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> we asked him, are you the murderer? And he said, hmm, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I like that word. He has, yet to, to he has yet to confirm this. Yeah, it's, it's like, okay, <laughs> uh, judge, you, you need decisive evidence. I got this. Here's this witness who hasn't confirmed that they're the murderer or not. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Very well. Please, bring the witness into the courtroom. So how was that as an opening statement, uh, Phoenix? <laughs> not one <laughs> <laughs> but theoretically all three days the court wouldn't need to have a new opening statement every day oh, that's a good <laughs> to point be entirely I... fair yeah ladies and gentlemen of the court i believe you all remember our witness he lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident in addition he has currently lost memory of his name and identity Witness, why did you run away yesterday? The witness does not running away as he will now testify. I, I see. Turns out there was a really cool noodle shop that opened in the next town over that he had to go check out. 
<laughs> no, he had to go burn it down. Oh, right, yeah, he right, had to right. go <laughs> had to burn down the dry noodle. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Very well. Please begin your testimony. His reference. Uh, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. But I wasn't running away or nothing. I, uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Uh, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. That was so fucking <laughs> dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I instantly well. believe that. I refuse to believe that friggin' Von Karma couldn't have come up with a better fake alibi for him. I know. Let's begin the cross examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. Witness, what's your name? Yanni Yogi. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Got me again, right? You're a shrewd one. Like, yeah, I had to get the, the my, my parrot's food. Why were you, why did you not return to your home through the, through the entire night? Uh, it was very far away. Wait, I have a parrot? <laughs> ah, shit. Objection. Polly, Polly. I gotta feed that thing. <laughs> Polly only consumes the souls of the innocent, so you can't have gone to buy her food. <laughs> uh, yep, Tillian says, show him the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> Anything uh, standing out here to object upon? Uh, I mean, not these first couple. Press this one. Yeah. He seems uncertain. He seems uncertain about it. Press X to doubt. Food? Well, Polly is a bit Metal of a gear? gourmand, you see. <laughs> Food? Metal Gear? <laughs> she only eats these high-quality bird pellets from France. What the fuck? They only have them in the big pet shop downtown. But you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker shack? Uh, well, uh, I kind of got lost, you see. The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Karma. No one's going to believe that. I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I see. So he was lost. Please, Your Honor, come to your senses. I feel like we I mean, probably we pressed. Press this yeah, I feel like true, we keep pressing but... this. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, yep, seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh... Or, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. Well, Von Karma, I'm glad that nobody has ever committed perjury before. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. Uh, how am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old codger's head? That's impossible. May I suggest? May I suggest calling in a meta, a, an expert witness with a uh, who's in you know who who studies med who studies memory and things, some sort <laughs> of doctor type person. Wait, I've I've got you, it. that doesn't mean actually do in this situation is you have medical experts come in. <laughs> you know what? Phoenix is gonna do not that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. I mean, I, we gotta press I mean, this that's one, just too. A, that's just yeah, a blatant just, lie. Just press away. Yeah. How can you say you had no motive? 
I so see. We can, also probably, we can also probably we can also probably present the note here. Oh, we we don't yeah. have the note, do we? Oh yeah, he oh, took right. it from he, us. Yeah. Karma stole it when he, you know, assaulted us. <laughs> that's right. I forgot. I forgot that he took. All yeah, the shit. the only thing we have that's new is the the bullet from Gregory Edgeworth. Hey Edgeworth, we have a bullet that killed your dad. <laughs> Ooh, cool, hey, right? Hey Edgy, why is he sound cool? This bullet <laughs> literally killed your dad. Daddy, no. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I know it's so cool. You're crying. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It got fired when you threw the gun at him. <laughs> this is the bullet you used to kill your dad. Why would Isn't you throw awesome? a gun, you fucking idiot? <sighs> How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make my please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, Bronner? <laughs> You've been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past, or lack thereof, into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Um, yeah? Oh, of course, Your Honor. The witness has said that he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. Both of these statements are lies. Boo! <laughs> there he is. Boo guy's back. <laughs> I'm a ghost now. I wasn't booing anybody. I just died. And that's what I say. Ooh. Order. Order. Uh, really quick, a few things. Um, Pantran would like... Uh, Pris or, sorry, Phoenix, can you turn your head? They, they, they would like to see the back of the wig. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to see it. <laughs> It's good, Hell it's good. Yes. Hell yes. Uh, also, Jojo asks, quick lawyer question, how would the attorney even hold the evidence such as bullets, guns, and extras? Like, wouldn't that be properly held and not just in their pockets in a Ziploc bag? <laughs> yes, yeah. What, what happens is you bring that up and then you basically establish chain of custody, which is you establish that the police held on to this. This police retrieved this from the murder scene they did ballistics, they did ballistics testing. It was held in their evidence locker, and no one else has touched it between the evidence locker and coming to court. And that that's how you properly mm. establish chain of custody to show that this is the same bullet the police found that you are gotcha. now presenting as evidence. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not pulling things like that out of your pocket. It's it's in police custody up until the day of the until up until the day of the it's brought into evidence. Hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Mr. Wright, there is a serious problem with your claim. Or, are you saying... Are you saying you know who the witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho oh, ho! Now this is interesting. Fuck you. I'm, sent, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> Von Karma is Santa, and that's some fan art we could draw. <laughs> yeah. So that's like the worst non Santa ever. Non-horny fan... Non horny fan art. You get coal. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know myself. So, who is he? Uh, don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us the witness's name. Why would they give us the <laughs> choice here? <laughs> please say Gregory Edgeworth and Miles. Yeah. Like, Miles, did you that? Well, okay. <laughs> Uh, again, uncle, we have enough to burn. But, uncle, yeah, you gonna... are the father of my His life. name? <laughs> he said it! His name is Gregory Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wright? 
all of us here remember what Gregory Edwards <laughs> looked like. <laughs> and he looked nothing like this, believe me. Hey, it's been 15 years. Wow, that's pretty harsh, Your Honor. It's been 15 I'm going to have to penalize you for your wild claim. <laughs> now, let yeah, me ask you me, again. Miles, your dad's... Miles, your dad's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff and professional pee-pee wrangler. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, you mean the Yanni Yogi? Yogi? That name seems familiar. Oh, the pee-pee wrangler. <laughs> Yanni Yogi from the DL6 incident. I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous... I, I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Yanni Yogi, then he has a clear motive. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. <clears throat> you need proof. Okay, and so let's see, a shop let, let's see a shopping receipt from the bird feed he brought, so we have proof that that's what he was actually doing. See, I too can ask for proof on karma. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one doesn't count, so <laughs> shut up. <laughs> also, and, uh, uh, the, the chat's pointing out uh, how fucking insensitive it is for Phoenix to accuse someone of being uh, Edgeworth's dad while Edgeworth is literally, like, right next to him in the room. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why it's so great. <laughs> Miles... I let you defend me once, and you accuse everyone of being my father. Why am I in love with you? <laughs> Why can't I quit you? <laughs> <laughs> and allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. That doesn't mean he didn't do it. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the fact that he could be Yadi Yogi. <laughs> this is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go. I'll show him this <laughs> picnic basket and see how he reacts. <laughs> oh, hey there, Boo Boo. That's Shit. one nice picnic basket. <laughs> we got him. Oh, gosh, Yogi, you should try it. Nick, how are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Some might say it's elementary. Your Honor. <laughs> you Herlock Sholmes? <laughs> God damn, I can't believe that's going to be his actual name in the fucking games. If, if and can't when wait. they get ported. Uh, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see. Okay, you know what, Phoenix? That's like one of the first like smart things you've ever done. <laughs> I see. That makes sense. <laughs> huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. Uh, I cut off this man's fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I burned all his fingerprints off. Why? Well, the witness has no fingerprints. Uh, what? What? No fingerprints? Uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. I burned my fingers working with the stuff. Yeah. What? Yogi, you sneak. You, you burn. Sneak. <laughs> you burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints... Also, the, the chat is very impressed that you, you correctly guessed what was about to happen there <laughs> you know. before it happened. I guess we'll have to take his toe prints. 
<laughs> I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. Pretty no. sure you know, have to rip his do they, teeth do, they out do... And use dental records? Yeah, I was gonna say there's multiple records that they keep on you if right. you work for the government, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, fingerprints are the most obvious ones. I'm trying to think of one other ones you could use. I mean, he looks completely different, but. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not a forensic scientist. I don't really know. It seems like there has to be another, there has to be several other ways we could confirm this man's identity, but sure. Listen, I'm not a sciencer, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh. Hmm. It seems that the case has been decided, no? No! <laughs> this doesn't mean that Edgeworth is guilty just because this man isn't Yanni Yogi. <sighs> I know what happened. I know everything. I, I can see everything. I just can't prove it. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose! There has to be another way. Oh, is this what it happens? There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Nick, what are we going to do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine no. the parrot for a little comic relief, hmm? Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're a sore winner, Von Karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? Please, no. What, what is it, Nick? No. You're not Please. going to... Please, no. Your Honor. <laughs> the defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? Take him higher. On his proposal. Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. <laughs> I can't say right, with a straight please. face. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> even the real, even the real actually, Phoenix Wright doesn't like this. He actually left. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> some of the chat would like to know would this po be possible in real life <laughs> no because <laughs> first off you can't actually cross examine something without direct examination without direct examination first um mm. and it, it wouldn't really be possible and you, you it's, Outside of the obvious thing that it's a bird, the weird technical thing is that it can't take an oath. Oh. It, it has no concept of it has no concept of truth or lies. It does not understand. It does not understand the weight of its words. It, it can't actually take an oath to testify. Mm. Mm, interesting. Is is actually like the technical reason outside of like the obvious reasons that what if, it's a bird? What if the parrot went like? I have free will. <laughs> well, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> really quick. Become, become as gods. Become as gods. Become as gods. <laughs> there, are, there are a few people in the chat that's saying that uh, parrots have been used in actual court cases. Um, they're saying they've been used as witnesses. I'm assuming it's more of they've been used as evidence. Yes. So I have actually, the first, when we first ran to the parrot, I looked up this exact info because I was curious. God damn it. God bless you. <laughs> there are actually, I could not find any like credible true sources or like any like actual court records or dockets, mm. but they're all stories of like uh, a, a parrot yelling help a bunch of times when they went to a crime scene. And mm. use that as like to establish that a crime had took place there. Mm. There was also apparently a mob boss who taught his parrot to screech whenever cops were nearby, so he could hide stuff. Huh. And they tried and they tried to use that as evidence as well. So I did read into those. I, I I could not. I cannot verify their veracity. That's a really 
ostentatious sounding phrase. So let's use the word ostentatious. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I so can't. Using it twice. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so I can't for sure say that those are actually happened or they were accepted, but I did read those stories. But it could never be put on the witness stand. That could just never happen. Gotcha. Okay, well. So a parrot can be evidence. It can't be a witness. You can attempt to introduce something the parrot said <laughs> as evidence. Gotcha. There might be a weird... There, there, it's hearsay, but there are... You could technically argue that it's an, an exception to the rule against hearsay. And you may and you may be able to bring it in. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's find out what happens in this kangaroo court. <laughs> this parrot court, please. O order! Order! Uh, well, if, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need you even ask? This is a farce. I object. I object to your objection. I do that too. <laughs> Wait a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. And everyone knows there are no jokes in courts. <laughs> Sarcasm I... doesn't exist in courts. <laughs> I have a right to do. <laughs> That's not, that is not how this works. I have a right <laughs> to do as you suggested in jest. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> well... If you're so desperate, then please be my guest. <laughs> of course, should you go through with this and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy. You're not wrong. <laughs> <Are there> takes... <laughs> well, Pancho just asked, are there takesies backsies in court? <laughs> <laughs> And no, court does not recognize the sacred right of takesies backsies. God damn it. <laughs> then is it then court is a farce. This is a farce. <laughs> well, still want to go through with your little game. I'm Some say when you've dug you yourself a no. hole, just keep digging. <laughs> Let the parrot take the stand. Let the parrot take the stand. Let the parrot take the stand. I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. <laughs> Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence, except the parrot. She's my last chance. And Larry. He, he, didn't, like, he didn't rig Larry. It's, yeah. Yeah. At least, I think so. Bailiff. Bring in the parrot. <laughs> did, did he just have the and parrot here, just in case? Yeah, and don't the... smack the parrot's pee-pee. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> That's quite a bird. Uh, please, tell us your name. <laughs> I love how they now have to give... Name! <laughs> <laughs> to give these parrot on the stand sprites. <laughs> the witness is ignoring me. This witness is being hostile. <laughs> the, the judge has finally found a witness. Uh, <laughs> able to withstand I'll him. hold you in contempt of court. <laughs> it must hurt to be ignored by a bird. <laughs> <clears throat> Very well, witness. Who is your owner? Please uh, testify for us. Okay, we got we we have another request to look at the Discord. <laughs> That's really funny. Look at my lawyer dog. I'm going to jail. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> I love the fucking idea that it's like a fucking selfie he's just taking to Snapchat. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> God Dropping damn. emojis. <laughs> Are you, no fucking way. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Undeniable proof, Your Honor. It is certainly the most concise testimony we've heard so far. Very well. Begin your cross-examination. Right. <clears throat> what are you going to do, Nick? I, I don't know. What do we do, Maya? So he says, hello, hello, squawk. Ellipses. <laughs> well, I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yogi. <clears throat> well, we're going to press this bird. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, you can't just say hello and expect to, us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. <laughs> right. Um, what do I say? <laughs> well, you always got to start with the witness establishing who they are. Okay. So ask her what's her name. Maybe I should get her to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly, Rah! Mr. Wright, I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? <laughs> no, I just wanted to establish that our witness knew who they were. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with that, no. Hmm. Please only ask questions pertaining to the matter at hand. <laughs> Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. <laughs> Pantran says this is just two birds talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's the it's the have we forgotten something? Because that's when he um, because that's when he says don't forget DL six. Right. <sighs> Remember, two days ago. Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Ah, don't forget DL6. Ah. Taco Sensei points out, yep, time for another useless flashback. <laughs> <laughs> if I yeah, can at least that. this one actually took place a substantial amount of time ago. That's true. If I can get Polly to say that line here, that will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Um, Polly, have we forgotten something? No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to say. Forgot... Something we forgot. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Squawk. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's not working, Nick. She won't say it. This is ridiculous. Why won't she say it? <laughs> is something the matter, Mr. Wright? <clears throat> Wait. Don't tell me Von Karma expected this. He couldn't have retrained the parrot, could he? Did he train her not to respond when we asked if we'd forgotten anything? Well, you bastard, Von Karma. You bastard. This? The series of events that would have led Von Karma to anticipate this entire thing and then cover for this is the most... <laughs> <sighs> like, when did Von Karma sleep yesterday? What is sleep? Yeah, yeah, dude, no, he's just banging seven gram rocks. <laughs> he's just coked out. He's been coked out of his mind this entire time. All right. Uh, so this one, you have to look at the court record, oh. I think. <clears throat> oh, shit. To like, to, to, well, you can look at it right now. That's true. But there's, there's something about one of the responses, I think, that's related to something about DL6. 
<clears throat> okay, Misty Fay. Map. I mean, the picture of Misty Fay had the words DL6 it, on it. It does. It's just like that'd be a really out of wet left field thing to ask for, but hey, we can go for it. Yeah. Murder weapon. Again, I I, I cannot I cannot imagine the metal detector comes up relevant again. Answers to the name Polly, the erstwhile companion. <laughs> <laughs> what a good word. Uh, DL6, oxygen, Gregory Edgeworth, one bullet in the heart, fired twice. Wait, hold on. Yeah. What was that? The murder weapon was fired twice. Shit, so. Oh, no, I, that's why we did know that, because they were saying this the, the boat thing was an exact copy. Of the firing twice. Oh, I we did, did not know that. We, we did know that. Uh, a court bailiff memory loss after his arrest. Fiance Polly Jenkins commits suicide. Jesus God! I wait, don't wait, we that did part. not know that. What the fuck? <laughs> that's a bummer. Yikes! I'm uh, assuming that's probably what we're that's gonna. That's probably what we show. Yes. Uh, Conveniently, his. Fiance had a parrot name. Yeah. Uh, well, while we're here, we might as well ask the safe number for shits and giggles. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe we I'll get her to say... Cat for getting this wrong. So yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll get her to say the number of that safe. Huh? The safe? Why? Let's just try to get. Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the face you. <laughs> Polly, what was the number of the safe in the shack? One, two, two, eight. One, two, two, eight. Twelve, My. twenty-eight. That's today. <laughs> My, what a reckless parrot. Wow, good, good catch. I'm gonna go, oh. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go jack all of his stuff now. See ya, nerds. <laughs> Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. Wait. Ha-ha! It does! It's the date of the fucking DL6 incident. DL6 incident. Actually, it does. That's why I had her say it. Ridiculous. How can the number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof. I mean, Von Karma, plenty of people have their, like, four-digit PIN passwords be an important date. Like, what the fuck? That's true. Uh, I assume we present this. Yes. I mean, if it's yeah, not, yeah. then, like, get over yourself. Then fuck, this, then fuck this game. We're quitting. Yeah. <clears throat> DL6 case file? What is that? I've never heard of this <laughs> DL6 before. What is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright? Where in this file is something relating to that safe number? Uh, that was case summary. <clears throat> yeah. It's on the case summary page. The case summary. Uh, yes, it's uh, mm. kind of a quick... No, it's December 28th, so it's wintry. Ah! Oh, <laughs> very good. Look at this guy. Phoenix Bucking Wright got the bridge. jokes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, the date on which the DL if DL6 incident occurred. I guess if I can match Phoenix's power pose. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. If you're doing it, I got I to gotta get the stream pulled up so I can see it. <laughs> Oh, look at those broad shoulders, everybody. <laughs> that proud, <laughs> shit-eating grin. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute shit-eating grin. Like a grin. peacock. No, like a phoenix. Agent. Oh, right. Peacock right. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue. Would not have, would not have been a good... So what's my... I got it. Cock? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Cock! <laughs> That's Cock, a, what do we do? That's a stupid bit. <laughs> we're, we're really in deep now, Cock. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, 
god! You better finish that hoardy jail drawing quick. <laughs> I'm still running free. I'm the date still of the running incident, free. <laughs> the date of the incident, December twenty eighth. Why, that's today's date, fifteen years ago. And the number on that safe is one two two eight. Ah. He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. That's kind of fucked. I mean, we can, we can shorten it to DL6 in the, incident. If it's, you want, it's really fucked. DL6 he's like, incident? He, he made the, the safe the date of like the worst day of his life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, he won't, for, he won't forget it, I guess. Yeah, sure. He'll never forget. That's how important that <laughs> date was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. Their secret numbers. <laughs> this is not tangible proof. I set my ATM card's number to 0001 <laughs> because I'm number one. That is such an incredible line. <laughs> Everyone still on <laughs> Dumbass just told us his pin number. You see, you see, like, you see, like five people in the back of the courtroom just instantly like scramble out the door and run to the nearest like bank. <laughs> Shit! Wait, well, no, come back. Well, now I'm poor, so thanks for that. <laughs> this has nothing to do with a date. Nothing. Hmm. Indeed. Alone, it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. We would need some other corroborating evidence. Uh, where am I going to find that? Nick, we're getting closer. One more. If we can just get one more piece of evidence. Maybe right. if we, uh, we point out that the parrot's named after his dead fiance, oh. which is a really oh. fucked up thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. What? <clears throat> hmm. Very well, witness. You may continue. I can't get over that he's just addressing the bird like that. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Very good. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, we already done this. Rah, my friends call me Blanco Nino. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. sorry. It's of course. <clears throat> Before we go on, um, please check the great Wes and Horny jail picture that is now on the Discord. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, oh I love oh it. Oh, my God. That's so cute. Oh, <laughs> I'm obsessed with that. I love that you're bleeding. <laughs> I know, but I'm still happy. I love that it's a cardboard <laughs> box with fucking steel bars. That, that, <laughs> your legs are just hanging out the bottom. Oh. That, and here's the fun part. You got the color of my pants right, too. <laughs> wow. Oh, that, that is, honestly, that is one of the coolest things that I've ever gotten. Uh, well, I'm in horny jail now. I'm officially in horny jail, so I can't <laughs> say anything horny anymore. I'd like to see it you got try. Bonk, it got bonked out of you. <laughs> <sighs> yes, it does. Ha! Fascinating. You claim that the parrot's name will prove her owner's identity? Then show <laughs> us this proof. Nick! Don't you think you don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen, there is no such thing as too far. <laughs> I appreciate that Phoenix says listen, which is something I say. Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to answer the question of how is the caretaker. We're here to blame this man for a murder. <laughs> we're here to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor. You can't spell Yogi without Polly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's the DL6 case file again. Let me, let me see. Is it? Uh, you said it right. The Every, uh, suspect data. Suspect data. Yeah, suspect yeah. data. Just making sure. The DL6 case file. That's quite a large file you have. That. <laughs> Dang it! I can't make the joke now! I'm in horny jail, so I can't say anything! Dang it! That's quite a large file you have there. Uh, Matt, Matt, Matt in the chat says, It's amazing that Von Karma doesn't do his research on the case files, but did retrain the damn parrot. It's a good fucking point. Uh-huh. Uh, Jojo says, your sentence just became longer. <laughs> One might say, enlarged. God damn it. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Which page is this proof on, then? Show us, or stop wasting our time. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, please show us the page. Where in this file is the information connected to this parrot's name? Chapter 69, page 420. Hey, hey, blaze it. Pew, 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 pew. It's on the suspect data page. <laughs> what was the judge like? What? I, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this page has all the information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide. See? <laughs> she committed suicide. She? <laughs> That's what I thought too. Hmm. Indeed, it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly! Exactly, Your Honor. His fiance was named after the parrot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how that works, right? <laughs> I mean, parrots, we talked about this, parrots live to be like 98. <sighs> so ridiculous. that very well could be the case. He remembered the name of it. <laughs> I just the, the idea of somebody being like, I love you. Would you like to be my wife? Yes. Okay. I now name you Polly in honor of my parrot. <laughs> what? No? I'm Emily. You're that's, Polly that's now. That's not how that works. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Don't speak. Quiet, don't Polly. Speak. <laughs> it's okay, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she, never mind. Do you want to nope, crack that's it? Dark. Oh, yep. That's too dark. That's too dark. Oh no! <sighs> what's 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 Zach's jail now? Uh, I'll let the chat decide. <clears throat> he remembered the name of his fiance who committed suicide. <clears throat> that's why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that, that is possible. <laughs> A mere coincidence. That's all. My granddaughter has a dog she calls Phoenix. What? <laughs> well, Mr. Phoenix Wright, does this make you my granddaughter's fiance? Huh? That's creepy. Answer okay. me, damn it. <laughs> uh, do you have a romantic relationship with my granddaughter, you son of a bitch? I'll kill you, just <laughs> like I killed Gregory Edgeworth. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Curses. I'll save you. Just Boiled like I me again. you. <laughs> <sighs> Max, I really can't wait for Phoenix's response to this. That's karma. She's only seven years old! God. You bastard! <clears throat> Phoenix, right. Are you really in a relationship with a seven-year-old girl? <laughs> I find you in contempt of court. <laughs> Bailiff, hit his PP especially hard. <laughs> that's, and that, that's enough. And, and fucking Yanni Yogi's like, I've been waiting years for this. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, it's him. I recognize that technique anywhere. <laughs> and as, as Phoenix cries in pain from getting his PP smack, he says, I He's did like, it. Gotcha. I won. <laughs> <laughs> Like the the death note, Phoenix has got red all over him, and Yanni's got blue. Oh, that's good. I only had to sacrifice my pee pee to do it, <laughs> but I revealed that he's Yanni Yogi. Uh, Triton on Titan says, "What the fuck is this?" 
<laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. We've gotten off the fucking rails here. Uh Listen, it's because it's because the hype train's not going. So we we're just we're just off the rails. We're going wherever we want. <laughs> That's <pretty> good, actually. <clears throat> I think we've reached a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence. That's all. True, that is a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. Oh. What are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Immediately. He's run away Judge. again. <laughs> he ran away again. Oh, shit. Well, oh, dang it. We, we, we have to say the trial's over today, so I don't know. I guess Edgeworth's guilty because we can't find this man. <laughs> Witness. Tell us your name. Wait. This witness, he, he doesn't remember. No, it's okay. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I've accomplished what I wanted to do. I'm done. <laughs> it was me, it. Uncle, the whole time. <laughs> it was me, Joey. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Yug. <laughs> Nick. He looks totally different. What an what anime ass power up shit is this? Yeah, <laughs> this is like master this is like Master Roshi going from like frail old man to buff mode. Yeah, he uh -huh. just took his shell off. <laughs> this is the real Yogi, I think. Finally, he's been acting feeble to hide his true identity. He also grew like two feet taller, I think. Acting for fifteen years. Yogi. Big Yogi's kind of hot. Daddy, it's uh, now now Phoenix doesn't feel bad yeah. about calling him Daddy. Yeah, Daddy hey Yogi's kind of hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> why am I allowed here? It says that looks like a man that slaps peepees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd recognize those peepee -pee slapping hands anyway. Jesus God. Jesus God. And the, the the chat is sending you back to Horny Jail. Ah. Uh, let me ask you again. Please state your name for the court. My name is Yanni Yogi. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, I served as a bailiff in this very court. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Order. Order. Yanni Yogi. So... Was it you who killed Robert Hammond and tried to frame Miles Edgeworth for his death? Yes, it was me. I did it. It's because I had my friends behind me. <laughs> they put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond, he said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent, get me off the hook. So, <clears throat> I pretended to have brain damage. Jesus, God. I was innocent, really, but he didn't believe me. We won the trial, but I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiancé, my social standing, my friends. My Exodia, my, my Exodia cards. My Exodia cards. Damn it. I lost the Dark Magician. <laughs> then, this year, 15 years later, a package arrived. It was a letter and a videotape from Maximilian Pegasus. <laughs> God damn it. You're creating so many edits I have to fucking do now. <laughs> it said... Challenge me to a shadow game, Yogi Boy. <laughs> that was way too good of a pirate, by yeah, the way. Very good. And a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't care who had sent it. I thought this was my chance. After 15 years, this was it. Finally, 
a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I have no regrets. Wait a moment. Revenge against Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. All right, court over. Let's get out of here. Cool, cool, cool. Very well. I suppose I have to send you to the Shadow Realm. No! <laughs> With my Millennium Gavel. Oh, oh shit! shit! Uh, chat, we're going to need some fan art of the judge with the Millennium Gavel now. Oh, fuck, yes. That's really good. He's, uh, he's, he's also, he's Judge Man. The fucking, the, the Judge card. Yeah. Oh, what a fuck. bad that's... card. One summon for only 2,200 attack. <laughs> Dang, he's got card. the attack points memorized. I played a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! mobile game when it re uh, the mm. Duel Leaks mobile oh, game Duel when it came out. Oh shit, we got it. Clumsily okay. Jojo. That's Instagram page. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very yeah. good one. Yeah. <laughs> Class trial? Huh. It must not have been important if I forgot. Sounds really fucking stupid. Who would even remember that? Psst. Nick, it seems no one even remembers. Shut up. I see now, Maya. And then we've got the alternate take. Class trial. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's... Wait. He's got what is what is Maya holding? That's a I burger. See the orange. It's a burger. Oh, it's a burger. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> really a good. body has been discovered. <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe it's an abstract art thing. I never understood that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like how they found all the most horrifying ones that got posted. Oh, so good. Can we just go get dinner now? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Will you be the jogger to my thief? What the actual fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the top left one is very yeah. good. Never speak again. <laughs> Never speak again. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh fucking hell! This is so good. Wow. <laughs> uh, Visa, did you see my crappy edit of the horny jail pick? Uh <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it the full layered horny jail? I, I got put in horny jail again. Double horny jail. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all are too much. This I don't know so how I'm good. gonna edit this all into the video, but without like greatly breaking up the action, but uh, I might stick it all at the end. We'll see how I do it. Anyways, right, let's get ready? back to the game. <clears throat> Von Karma. Where is Mr. Yogi? Under arrest, Your Honor. I saw no room for error in his confession. Then, the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, is... Innocent. In this case, at least. Yeah, hmm. that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. We had now. out. Well, who said... <laughs> Who says we try him for another murder, huh? <laughs> Maybe one that's Anybody exactly know? 15 years ago. The statute of limitations is about to end on, you know? I'm feeling frisky. Come on, let's go for it. <sighs> Very well. Will the defendant please take the stand? No, he doesn't need to. Let's just say no, not guilty and go to. on. You just said he's innocent. Let's go home <laughs> before Edward said something stupid.
I just want to go up here so I can say, Edgeworth, wow, good job. There are a few mysteries left unsolved. Yeah, but none of them that apply to my client's innocence in this matter. So, uh, like I said, we peacing out. <laughs> a gentleman we, you know, grab some burgers. No puzzle unsolved. <laughs> now, Luke. Still, you are cleared of suspicion for this particular case. There we go. And that's the only case on trial here. So I would like to pass judgment on the murder of Mr. Robert Hammond. The only thing you're able to pass judgment on right now. Any objections? No. Now would be no. now would be the time for someone to yell objection. S stop. If anybody would like to yell objection, they could do it now. Anybody? I don't believe it. Going once? Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Going twice? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Oh, he did it. Woo! We out, folks. We out. Boom, 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 boom. Drop the confetti. That is all. The court is adjourned. You did it. Phew. Motherfucker. Oh, God damn it, Miles. <laughs> Uh, nope, I didn't hear anything. Let's go. Yep, My yep. <laughs> Damn it, anything. Edgeworth! You had to fuck it up. Chili's, is, Chili's happy hour is about to end. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my drink on. They have Come two on. for one margaritas. <laughs> this episode sponsored by Chili's. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. <laughs> Ew, Chili's. <laughs> We couldn't do any better than Chili's. Nope, we certainly couldn't. I also love how you took Olive Garden's slogan and yep, put it with Chili's. The, what, is, what is Chili's fucking slogan? Our food sucks. Boy, it's, <laughs> boy, it's hot in here. <laughs> I can't believe we're still in business. <laughs> Sibylla says, hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> Come on down no. to Chili's. Hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> That's not true. No one ever feels welcome in a Chili's. <laughs> Holy just says, Chili's. Yes, it's edible. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just really like Chili's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're legally defined as a restaurant. A <laughs> lawyer said so. <laughs> Chili's. What you get when there's no Outback Steakhouse. Fuck, that's true. <laughs> I can't even uh, go to Golden Corral. <laughs> Chili's. When, when Applebee's is too good for you. <laughs> Fuck, that's a good one, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, Did let's... someone just say objection? It wasn't Von Karma. Wait. Well, that means... did you see who yelled objection? <laughs> no. <laughs> Edgeworth? Well, you're not a you're lawyer, so a... You, can't, you can't object to anything in this case. So once again, let's go. Yep. <laughs> your Honor. I object to your judgment. You can't. You're not a lawyer right now. I also like how they reuse the prosecution objection Edgeworth sprite because they didn't want to make it one more little, for this. It looks yeah, a little. It looks a little. He's pointing. And he's pointing into the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> he's pointing Why into the shadow. Why are you pointing realm. at me? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. As we have heard, Yanni Yogi killed Robert Hammond in revenge. Which is the only thing that is on trial right now. But revenge for what? Nick! Edgeworth is trying to confess. He's going to say he's guilty. Shh. He's going to tell them he was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He's going to tell them he killed his own dad. Maya, shut Curry, the fuck shut up. up. Stop yelling all of this. <laughs> well, don't now, shoot that at that him. Girl, now that that girl said everything, I guess I don't need to say anymore. Uh, I mean... Stop my idiot boyfriend. <laughs> my idiot boyfriend. <laughs> coming soon. Coming this summer. Coming to ABC soon to Freeform. 
The judgment has already been passed. I object to Edgeworth's outburst. Didn't something like this happen yesterday, too? I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. Son of a bitch, he's got me on that one. <laughs> Damn it, Larry. That would be Larry. Damn it, Larry, you fucked it up in the end. <laughs> he's not even here and he fucked us. We must hear this new statement. We must hear Miles Edgeworth. He's right. No, he's, he's not. He's wrong. We have a duty to hear Mr. Edgeworth out. That's not how court works. I have a degree in acting, and even I know that. <laughs> <laughs> For 15 years, I have had a recurring dream. God fucking damn it. A nightmare. It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now I know... It wasn't a dream. Yanni Yogi wasn't the killer. You mean, in the incident where your father died? From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. Oh shit. The I murderer. The criminal in the DL6 incident. It was Von Karma. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Mr. Monkey. <laughs> He's at large again. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was me. It was the man simply known as Blanco Nino. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I confess my guilt. Well, luckily, I we're am... not on trial for that today, so uh, too bad. I am guilty for DL6, the statute of limitations of which ends today. The culprit is me. Why are you pointing at Phoenix right? <laughs> <laughs> because, Phoenix, we are one. <laughs> because Ooh. I I love you. Order! Order! This is certainly unexpected. And irrelevant because that's not on because that's not on trial today. <laughs> The defendant, declared innocent, is confessing to a different crime. A crime for which the statute of limitations runs out today. Judge, why, why did you just give us an exact play-by-play? -play? It's almost like this is a video game. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. I don't know. What time does the court's... What time does... What's the filing deadline? Let's see if we can stall before anyone files official charges. More importantly, when does Chili's happy hour end? <laughs> That's what I need to know. <laughs> bah! It's obvious. We hold a trial. Right here, right now. That's not mm. how that fucking works. We try this man for his crime of 15 years ago. See, now yeah. this sounds like a fucking dumb game. That's not how trials work. <laughs> I think, I think I would like to take a five-minute recess. Maybe I can pop over to Chili's in that time. <laughs> I'll order some DoorDash from Chili's. <laughs> you guys want anything? I'm going to pop over there real quick. <laughs> I'm taking drink orders. Anybody? Yes? No? Edgeworth, you want anything? Mark's all around. Mark's all you. around. Mark's all around. <laughs> I'll take a Maya, how old are you? Who cares? Mark's all around. <laughs> Von Karma's like, I'll take a double. <laughs> Maya's like, I'll have something. Maya, you can't drink. <laughs> I'll take a triple of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Polly Chili's goes hard. Not, Chili's does not have bourbon. God damn it. That's why we talk <laughs> on Chili's. Fuck Chili's. <laughs> During this time, I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. Court is adjourned. Now we can chew out Edgeworth. Come on, let's flee the country. <laughs> Just you and me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wright. I've just wasted all of your effort. Mr. Edgeworth, I just don't believe it, pal. I mean, you kill your dad. I didn't want to believe it myself, detective. But it's the truth. 
I deserve to be punished. You've been a very bad boy. <laughs> oh, you were nine. No, Zach. You th First no, off, I'm in a horny jail. <laughs> manslaughter is manslaughter, which is at best what you would get convicted of. Mm. And even then, don't really have a good chance to stick. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. I don't care what Pridge just said. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> this is crazy! Just crazy! Nick? What are you doing? Huh? Oh. I was just reading through court records once more. I'm getting my case ready. Your case? For what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent. What are you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it. He confessed that he did it. In court. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. But I don't believe your nightmare. What? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. Halo yeah. 2, finish ah. the fight. <laughs> I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. Right. And then we can go to jail. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. God damn it. All we do is just make make more running jokes for us to have to Wait. reference every episode. <laughs>